Now, with Action Bronson, we might not always know exactly what he's talking about in his raps, but it's usually entertaining and you can count on the imagery being vivid. What is good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moff. If you are rocking with this content, go ahead and smash that like button up for your boy. Also, subscribe if you haven't. But today, I'm going to be hitting y'all with my thoughts on this new project from Action Bronson entitled Joanne Sebastian Baklava. The doctor. So this is the Flushing Queens MC's first project since Coco Drilo Turbo back in 2022, uh, and he had dropped it last Thursday to commemorate his mom's 80th birthday. Now, just like that Coco Drilo album, Action recruited Derringer and The Alchemist to help him with the bulk of the production duty. This project contains just 11 songs, lasting approximately 31 minutes. It's all from the perspective of his fictional character, Dr. Baklava. And the features include Larry June, The Alchemist, Mayhem Loren, Julian Love, and Young Mexico. But with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with that track by track breakdown. The opener, splash, provocative. Has a Derringer instrumental that's laid back and on the jazzy tip. It's very suave and luxurious. Almost reminded me of something out of a 80s to early 90s commercial and, and Bronson is promoting uh, a new fragrance for Baklava. Some noteworthy lines were chrome hearts on the speedboat countless times I had to nut inside a fiend's throat. <laughs> Yo, this man is super wild. The chorus is pretty silly too. Uh, Tiana Trump is sucking some guys while I'm in the studio doing 500 push-ups watching. So yeah, this was a fly a vibe that set things off, although I will say his delivery was a little sluggish. Track two is Sega, and it has this uh, lopsided organ loop from the Alchemist that's ultra psychedelic. I mean, it's drumless and strange, but very cool. Bronson says, life is a game when I wake up, I hear Sega uptown dancing to Omega is Baklava, the savior. Uh, so as a whole, a dope track that has some unique, trippy production. After is Nourish a Thug, and I believe it was the earliest single, and it's backed by a brighter, whimsical beat from Derringer. Uh, Bronson has some cut up lines. They're gonna need four cuffs cause my shoulder's buff. Only man alive known to break out of the Cobra clutch. Also, uh, bitch, I live it. I pull up to your crib with exhibit and have him uh, put an effing fish tank in the Civic and slam dunk on two midgets. You know who else I also heard a lot of midget talk from? This weekend, another white rapper. Yes, Eminem. White folks, what's going on with all the midget talk? I also like the last part of this track where... Uh, Bronson said that he's riding around the city like the bad lieutenant, and that's obviously a reference to that gritty New York film uh, about that crooked sicko cop, the one with Harvey Keitel was extra crazy. Following this is Hideo Nomo, produced by Derringer, and the drums are stripped back this time. We just have a, a slower, illustrious sax. It feels real victorious. Bronson reflect back to the days when he rocked the Hideo Nomos, and I just realized that I have a pair in decent shape, still in the closet. Some witty lines from Bronson are, they say Baklava starting to resemble Ronnie Coleman. Shit, could pop at any moment. He'll figure rugby on hopping out the Lotus. So those are just some of the clever, uh, braggadocious bars that we're getting. Afterwards is Salvehi, uh, a Bronson produced track that's playful and idiosyncratic. I think it's a Spanish sample, but it also has a video game-like sound. It's a super far out beat, uh, and Bronson has those outlandish bars like, out of nowhere, hit the fiend with the rock bottom. Also, lone wolf, cause I've been crossed before. Looking like Vin Diesel shooting arrows out the window of the poor store. A signature Bronson. Next is Hogan with Mayhem Loren, and it has the first higher energy beat, also produced by Bronson. And Mayhem Loren brings that aggressive energy, uh, as you would expect. And Bronson has some humorous lines like, 
Woke up next to the mother effer from the planet of the apes somewhere in Canada where serial killers be putting on salmon on their face. He goes on to talk about how Mel Gibson gave him COVID at a UFC event and also how his favorite breakfast was uh, Coke and eggs. But I think he's still talking about Mel Gibson. He could be wrong though. Uh, then there's also the disrespectful lines. Bitch had Brooke Hogan's face. That means she had Hulk Hogan's face, brother. Act seven is Citrus Wahoo, another one of the standouts. And here, the Alchemist provides Mayhem and Bronson with a, a flavorful, rugged instrumental. They, they give me some slight Wu-Tang vibes. Um, yeah, this instrumental was really vibrant. The two do some fly criminology talk and Mayhem boasts each day is a video for a song I ain't right yet. Uh, and Bronson has a almost 90s style hook. Citrus Wahoo, this fish is not seen at the Bronx Zoo. Lecture you for what you've done wrong and then we stomp you. Yeah, there was just something about this instrumental that piqued my interest. This is followed up by another favorite compressor uh, produced by Derringer. And here he flips one of my favorite funk samples of all time and probably a top 10 non-rap song for me uh, that is the Bar K's Attitudes. I first heard this Bar K sample back in 95 off South Circle's uh, Attitudes track from their Another Day Another Baller album that I would highly recommend. Uh, it's definitely a top five Suave House release. Yeah, this beat was tailor-made for Larry June who was a feature and I just dug the Mackish flavor to this record. It makes you feel like you're just stepping out for the player's ball. The velvety horns are crazy and I was super amped that uh, Derringer decided to use this sample. Ely After is another highlight NBA leather on NBC produced by Uncle Al who was in his bag supplying uh, Bronson with his vintage shiny beat. You had a harmonica and these lively keys. Yeah, this sounded like the backdrop to an old NBA uh, championship commercial. You also have a solid verse from The Alchemist, uh, but Bronson really had the funny lines. I learned to F to songs written by Missy Misdemeanor. Altogether, uh, NBA Leather on NBC was like a top three record from this project. Second to last song is Shadow Realm, which has Bronson on the boards once more, and he comes through with an elegant El Martino sample. So you're getting those chic, Italian restaurant vibes. Even though there's a sentimental quality to this instrumental, Bronson is not doing soul searching. He's very much talking his talk with bars like beat the pussy up until it looked like one of Satchel Paige's baseball mitts. Also, bitches try to say I give off Rocky vibes, the one from Philadelphia. I'm sicker than Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. And this project came to a close with Doctor, uh, which has a, a refined weeping beat from Derringer that was an ideal uh, mafioso backdrop for him to do his picture paint. There was something about Bronson's references here that did put me in the frame of mind of uh, g Rap's Roots of Evil album, especially when he talked about his Colombian thug mommy. But overall, dope cinematic track and some fly lines like, uh, big guns that come with instructions, blood all on my constructions at the function. So overall, I'm gonna give this project a rating of four mics. It was a very experimental listen uh, that was weirder than weird at times, <laughs> but it played well from front to back and the beats were pretty unique and colorful the whole way through. Now the drums were minimal, so I can understand it might not be everyone's cup of tea, especially when you wanted more of that drum presence and the song structure wasn't the greatest, uh, but the samples, in my opinion, were attractive enough to make the instrumentals pretty listenable. I will say the songs on the second half were much stronger, and subject matter-wise, it was consistent with Bronson's more recent style, uh, where he has gone into more of that abstract direction for his album. So it might not be for everyone, but this was a cool project that I enjoyed more than I expected. You know, nice, little luxury rap project uh, with that eccentric and wacky imagery. My favorite tracks include Sega, Salvehi, Hogan, Citrus Wahoo, Compressor, NBA, Leather on M 
NBC, Shadow Realm, and Doctor. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It's your boy, Mixtape Mob. I am signing out, but as always, it's peace and blessings. Action Bronson, Joe, and Sebastian Baklava, the Doctor, one.